Energy vibration um, reading for um, the Sagittarian Sun Moon and Rising sign. Yeah, I'm always fixing my hair. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Um, and um, I want to say to each and every person, um, thank you for returning. I um thank you <laughs> really for returning. Let's see what is coming out. Oh my god, judgment. <laughs> okay, it is the energy of justice is coming out for you, Sagittarians. Okay. Um my hair is just so all over the place. So justice is coming up for you, Sagittarians, in the month of February. So whatever is happening and transpiring, the energy of justice is coming up for you guys in the month of February. So um, it is the month of the Eye Princess, and whenever the Eye Princess comes out, is whatever secrets, lies, deception, it is all coming out, and whoever that was deceiving other people. Um, this is going to be coming out so be aware of this now ladies and gentlemen the two first weeks is the energy of hair and the two last week is the energy of water now you're a fire sign um, so um, you know be aware of what is going to be happening because you have the energy of justice and the energy of justice is really that things are going to be balancing out um, thank you so much, you Sagis. Please remember this read on the spot five minutes long, 15 minutes is on YouTube, and the 30 minutes for the extended reading is on demand. It is a dollar ninety-nine. I am keeping that the hit at a dollar ninety-nine. I think um I, uh, other people are doing it for and I started with two dollars but it's a lot because I think that two dollars should be another four to five minutes long and I don't have the capacity on my computer to do that so I change it um, at Christmas I'm doing it for a dollar ninety nine and it will always stay at a dollar ninety nine okay it is good to know what is the extended because I only give 15 minutes because the videos are so long to update okay um, I'm seeing the energy of positive energies for you Sagittarians especially with your emotions in the month of February so these things are going to be coming up so um, this is um, really 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 good for you Sagittarius um, I think I should go pick up my coffee now before I start this reading so I'm gonna get my coffee Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot, my darlings. Okay, so Sagis, with the energy of justice, um, this month has four weeks. So let's see. It is a week. Uh, it's a month of water, and you guys have justice emotions. So let's see what's coming out for the Sagittarius in the first week of February, two thousand nineteen. Um, for you Sagittarius you have to make a decision so obviously a decision is coming up that you Sagittarius you really have to make a decision if you're going forward and it's always forward but you have to make a decision whatever the the decision is is it over a relationship or is it over something that is happening in your life you Sagittarius need to make a decision okay Let's see the second week of February. What is coming out for the Sagittarian Sun Moon Horizon sign? You have the energy of the star in the second week of February. A wonderful positive energy, the energy of the star. So you have to make a decision. And by making that decision in the first week, in the second week, you're going to be realizing how wonderful this is going to be because you finally, finally make a decision. Your spirit guides are going to be coming in and help you to make a decision um, to move forward. 
whatever that has happened whatever does has transpire to make the decision to move forward and this is going to be good now let's see what is transpiring in the third week the third week you have the energy of debt but it's in the reverse so whatever the transition is or was you have already um, it is already done it is already done okay so this is debt in the reverse this is kind of weird this comes up so <laughs> you said just um, I'm never surprised what comes out for you guys so in the third week um, really um, this energy of debt is um, the transition has already taken place okay and um, it is good then um, you have the energy of the Sun of Pentacles in the third week so some of you are dealing with the energy of the Sun of Pentacles but this you have made the decision about this person already so as we look is that there has to be decision to, that is going to be made your spirit guides are going to be helping you um, to formulate this decision how it's uh, how you you're gonna be making this decision and this is very good because um, the energy of the star and debt in the reverse that means whatever should have happened has already taken place okay um, the two of Pentacles on the star what is that saying for the Sagittarians um, the, there you are having the nine of ones you're spiritually protected so here we are I just said that the spirit guides were going to be coming out and helping you guys in the first week and the second week of February and this you can see because what is transpiring sorry is that the energy of the nine of ones is here which is protecting you on your journey so your spirit guides are definitely here protecting you from whatever the situation that is transpiring around you okay now the star and the energy of that comes the Sun so this is beautiful and it is the central of your month of February so Thank you um, to the universe and to um, all the guides and angels of the Sagittarius. This is wonderful. This is enlightening your old month. This is the center of your old month, um, the energy of the sun. So this is wonderful. So this is what I was saying is that the debt and the transition has already taken place. Whatever um, that as um, most, um, that should have left your life has already left your life because this you can see. Now the debt with the the the, um, the son of Pentacles. What does this mean? It means you're leaving someone behind. You have decided to leave someone, something, some situation behind. Now whoever um, and whatever you're planning on leaving behind in the two last week, uh, because the first week is the hurt energy, the second week is the hair energy. But this is positive because it's the energy of the star, which is your spirit guides are coming in in the second week. The third week is. A transition and it's as if that transition has taken place because you already made the decision now some of you have a situation to deal with and Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person between the ages of 18 and 45 now whoever this person is you're deciding to turn your back and walk away from this person okay uh, and it is the best thing to do okay now the nine of ones with the Sun is always that there is powerful protection that is around you okay nine of ones because you have the nine of ones which is the energy um, of um, divine protection and the star is your spirit guides and the Sun so you're definitely being protected um, so let's see what is coming out you have um, the energy of the eight of swords in reverse so you're seeing the truth to the situation and you're seeing exactly what is transpired you saw now the truth to a situation and what exactly that is transpiring this is so good because this energy comes out in reverse which is good so your spirit guide as guide you and show you and and move you forward on the way that you're seeing exactly um, what has transpired their hair they came up and they're here and um, whatever the situation is uh, um, they came up now the Sun of Cups comes out so some of you could be dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion now um, it could be that the healing is coming for this person so if um, you're if if 
if your your child is a Taurus is in Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, in the third week and it's definitely a scorpion because the energy of debt is here um, there is um, you're ending something okay um, obviously because the energy of debt is here and it has to do because there are a lot that you guys are doing with your kids because the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn kid comes up in the reading then you have the energy which you're dealing with uh, the son of cups so it's obviously there are so many kids that is going on the energy of that is the cancer so some of you could be um, there is an end to a relationship uh, with a, a child that is a cancer okay um, because the debt is in the transformation with the cancer. Some of you could be dealing with um, a Pisces or a Scorpion, and it's as if the spirit guides and the angels are helping to heal this person uh, and to heal the relationship. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with kids, or um, some of you is kids, some of you it's your partners. So your partners could be Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Um, that sort of energy. The outcomes for you, Sagittarians, is justice. The outcomes for you, Sagittarians, are uh, is justice. So this is good because justice is the energy vibration um, for you, Sagittarius, and justice comes. Justice is your outcomes of the month. So it is the general energies. It is your energy in this month, and um, um, some of you. Um, justice is going to be coming for you ladies 45 years and older and an offer is going to be coming in so justice is going to be coming for you ladies five um, um, 45 years and older and an offer going to be coming in so um, wonderful wonderful energies um, so um, always call upon your spirit guides to come in so call upon the universal angels and the spirit guides to come in to clear the energy in you and around you whatever the situation is um, call up on the spirit guides um, and they will come in and help so you know really really call up on um, the spirit guides It's all about decision and karma um, whatever the situation that is transpiring it's all about um, clearing karmas balancing of karmas okay the concept of the divine balance um, um, or karma all of your choices affect your life and sometimes the lives of others around you both now and in the future so it's all about um, balancing out karmas that you have to deal with now vitality enlightenment is going to be the energy vibration for you guys um, and be gracious of what you have um, so it, it, it is um, very positive um, it's going to be a very very positive month um, gratitude grateful um, be grateful for the radiance of the Sun and the life force within you okay so be grateful of uh, the energy of the Sun and the light force within you uh, the energy of the Sun is here twice so it is um, wonderful and it is powerful Um, let's see what other energies are coming out because we're using the animal deck so we're calling up and ask the, the universal angels and guides and what is coming up for the Sagittarians the eye princess so for you Sagittarians the eye princess is here it's all about the discern discernment precision um, and uh, prophecy and vision so the eye princess is going to be helping you Sagittarians in this month of February um, the eye princess is going to be it is the general energy for the month and the eye princess with justice is going to be helping you to balance out certain unjust and injustice in your life in the month of February so this is going to be good wonderful I love this energy of the eye princess because it's all about discernment it's all about discerning the people who are who are honest and positive and prophecy okay let's see what else is coming out I'm not sure why my cards is so all over the place yeah I just know <laughs> Oh,